my name is Stephanie Davis, and this is the very first Winesia, the language of wine, wine video series. And we are covering how to pronounce different wine terms and names on labels to help you really figure out how to order wine, buy wine, and not feel... I'm sorry to say, kind of stupid and feeling a little insecure about ordering wine and not saying it right. And this is the first first video that we're going to do of a series. We're highlighting various countries that we feel are very significant in the wine world. Today's video is about Spain. This is my dear friend Carmen Lopez. And uh, welcome, Carmen. Thank you. And uh, she is from Cadiz, Spain, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so she is going to help us translate these seven wines. And we're going to go just over just really a lot of the labeling language and uh, terms and just cut back and forth without really tasting the wine and, and dissecting it. We're going to actually just do a little bit of a language lesson today. So. Why did we pick Spain? Because Spain is has a great long history of winemaking and has uh, the largest number of uh, uh, vines. I mean, the, 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 the land is covered in vines, and so we found that it would be very important to cover Spain, and it is challenging to talk about these wines. So, so let's get started. The first bottle... I'm not even gonna. I mean, I'm gonna let Carmen just take over from here because I am not even really very good at this. But I think a lot of people, a lot of people have seen this bottle. This is a Cava, mm -hmm. right? And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have Carmen take over and just go over a little of the labeling, and she's gonna say it in Spanish, and then I'm going to repeat what. She so says. we're gonna first go over this sparkling wine from Spain. Cava, I think is that how we say it? Mm -hmm. Cava, Frisinet, Cava, Frisinet, Cava. Is that how did I say it right? Frisinet, mm -hmm. Frisinet, Cava. So Frisinet, this is a very popular Spanish Cava that's very inexpensive. So we're under ten dollars usually, and so you can see it at restaurants. I mean, it's at the liquor store. Good value. Is it popular in Spain? I mean, would people drink this if you were yes. in Spain? Yes, you All normally right. drink it for uh, celebrations like New Year's Eve. Okay. You toast with this kind of wine. Toast, okay, okay. good. Yeah. And um, so a couple other things on this label that I'm not really sure exactly how to pronounce, but so it says something, I think it's telling us about how it's made. What does it say? Traditional method. Sí. Método tradicional. Método tradicional. Perfect. Oh, almost <laughs> like I was Spanish, but not really. Okay, so that is telling you that it's made in the French style, the, the champagne style of um, champagne. And so um, it's high quality, even at a low price, it's really high quality wine. So that's important. And the other thing about cava is where it's made. And in what in what area of the country? And so I think I I would probably pronounce it the Penedes. Penedes is that right? Penedes. Okay. Penedes. In Catalonia. In Catalonia. Okay. In Catalonia. Catalonia. <laughs> All right. So again, this is a popular, easy to find. Mm -hmm. The black label and the black bottle is very striking. I think you're, it would be easily recognizable. So again, cava. Fréjeunet. Mm -hmm. Fréjeunet. Mm -hmm. Fréjeunet. Fréjeunet. All right. Thank you, Carmen. Gosh, that one is a hard one. <laughs> okay, so the next one we're going to go over is um, an Albarino. Albarino. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And from what, from, how do you say this? I mean, I, bo I just botch this one every single time. This, the region that it's from. This is from Galicia. This is from Galicia. Yeah. Okay. Northwest of uh, Spain. Northwest Spain. Okay. And Albarino is the grape, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Where, so what is this telling us? What is this? Rias, uh, Rias Bajas is an area in uh, Galicia. 
Okay, yeah. Rias Bajas mm -hmm. is in Galicia. Okay, so that it looks like it might be telling you the grape varietal or something, but Albariño is actually the grape varietal. Mm -hmm. And again, this is just a really nice white wine. Um, as you can see, it's we've got a traditional. Now, tell us a little about this shrimp dish because this is a is this, this is a wine right? that, that you drink with um, seafood fish, okay. so this is a very popular dish in Spain, like uh, garlic shrimp, gambas al ajillo. Gambas al ajillo? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very right. popular. Okay. So, okay. perfect. Garlic popular. shrimp, mm -hmm. garlic shrimp, mm -hmm. albariño, this is about, I don't know, this is like a $14 bottle of wine. They also have albariño um, on restaurant lists that you'll be able to find. What about... Is, I mean, do people in Spain drink albariño or only if you're in the Galicia region? No, 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 no. All over Spain. All over Spain? I'm from the south. My father drinks this all the time. All right. Yeah, like in a, like in a cup, a uh, white cup, ceramic cup. Oh, yeah? Okay. Like, boop. Pop. And now, it, oh, it's just enjoy it. So you don't have to be all stuffy about no. it and just, no, just drink your it. wine and have some shrimp. and Drink the bottle, baby. All right. <laughs> drink the whole bottle. That's what, that's what I that's think. That's how we do it. That's how the Spanish do it. Well, that's, what we, that's what we're going to do tonight, too. Actually, I should, we need to have a little wine. Here we go. You've got so I need to, I'm, I need to catch up, too. So here we go. Have a little bit of wine. Mm -hmm. Very floral. Mmm. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay. Now, I, this this is one of Carmen's favorites. I'm just gonna let you take this one away because I'm gonna. I know I can't say this. I can get I can get Reserva and I can probably get Rioja, but that's about it. So, what is the name of this producer, Mark? Marquez de Cáceres. Yeah, just, Marquez yeah. de Cáceres. Cáceres. Mm -hmm. Cáceres. Perfecto. That is really good because. This one I have seen all over the place, right? I mean, yeah, everybody drinks these. Everybody right? drinks, yeah. even in Spain. Yeah, yeah. everywhere. It's very, okay. very popular. And this one's you a can find in the grocery store everywhere. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's probably a lot cheaper there than it is here. Yes. Oh it's yes. Like double here. Ah. Oh, yeah. It just it just kills me. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about where is Rioja from? And am I saying it right, Rioja? Yeah, Rioja. Okay. Yeah, it's a near on north. East, I would say, okay. Spain. Yeah, mm -hmm. very popular. Very pop. I mean, yeah. very popular in the U.S. too. I mean, I think it's become all over the world. All over yeah. the world. Yeah. I mean, I just I love this wine. I think a lot of people struggle again with just some of that pronunciation. I don't know how many times I've heard people, you Rioja. know, yeah. Rioja or yeah, Rioja. Yeah, <laughs> Rioja. 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 Mm -hmm. I, I, I know. I'm going to try. And I really. Marques de Caceres. Marques de Caceres. Oh, see the, the Caceres. emphasis. Caceres. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the accent is telling yeah. you yes. the emphasis. Okay. Caceres. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And they have, you know, they, don't, they have a lot of different labels, a lot of different wines that this producer makes. So, you know. Find it, get it. Everybody says, you know, stamp of approval. Good. If the Spanish with, uh, people meat. drink it with meat, yeah, beef. Okay, mm -hmm. Very good. beef. Okay, good. That is a, that's a that should be like the uh, house wine, right? Or is it too expensive uh, yeah. for a house wine? No, no, it's in every house. Yeah, I wouldn't say house wine, but yeah, yeah, you can find it in okay. every house. Okay, mm -hmm. and then the last one. What a treat! We're gonna have something that's a little bit on the sweet side, dessert style wine. And, uh, you know. Let's have some. I love that wine. I love it! <laughs> I love it. And I was saying it wrong earlier. And, you know, we kind of went over this a little bit beforehand. Went, no, I'm still needing help. Obviously, I'm like, let me, let's me let just go over this Rioja one once again. Because I still can't do it right. So let's just do this one more time. Marques de Caceres. Okay. Is that right? Yeah, very good. Was that really right? Yes. <laughs> Casares. Casares. All right. And I'm telling you, the reason why I picked that one is because it's everywhere, right? I mean, yeah. that producer Very is cool. so all over the place, mm -hmm. and I, I stumble on it all the time and go, oh, here I go. Now I'm challenged trying to say it. Okay. So let's go over this one. This um, is an area in the south of Spain. Okay. So this is that region. It's not telling you anything about the grape. It's telling you about the region. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... 
denominación de origen, again, yeah? yes. Jorge, Jorge Ordóñez. Jorge Ordóñez uh -huh. is the producer. Uh -huh. eh, selección especial. Selección especial. Mm -hmm. Especial. Mm -hmm. Especial. All right. So that is telling you a little bit about the style. So at the very top is telling you about what region of what region of Spain it's from, and then it's telling you who makes it, and then a little bit about the style. Now what it's not telling you, I think it might say on the back label, um, is that it's from uh, the Muscatel, or the Muscat, yeah, or the Moscato. Right? You know, it has so many different um, names. If you see Moscatel, then me, that means it's sweet. Moscatel, uh -huh. okay. And it says vino, what does this one say underneath it? Vino naturalmente dulce, so naturally sweet. Naturally sweet. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, and the Moscatel is the, mus the Muscat. Grape varietal, okay? So nothing on the front label was telling you about what kind of grape it is, mm -hmm. but it was really giving you some information about who makes it, what region in Spain, the... Um, this Malaga. Malaga. Okay. The Malaga area is producing this really sweet, special wine, um, naturally sweet from the Muscat grape. Mm -hmm. Moscato. Mm -hmm. um, and the Italians yes. call it Moscato. Okay? So that's all the same. Well, that was great. Here, I think what we need to go over, the last little piece that I think is important is like, for anybody who's going to Spain, which Carmen already told us, you might be having some cava, you might be having some Alvarino, maybe you're having some Rioja, uh, Ribera del Duero, who knows, maybe you've gone somewhere really special, maybe somebody's going to have some the Malaga, I don't know, for dessert. You, yeah, for dessert, you never know, but what, how would we, how would we, if I'm sitting in a restaurant in Spain, how would I say to the How would I say to the waiter, "May I ha please have a glass of wine?" Or how What is the proper way to say, "I'd like a glass of white wine"? Uh, in Spanish, you want me to say that? Yes, in Spanish. Uh, me gustaría una copa de vino blanco. Me gustaría una copa de vino blanco o una copa de vino blanco, por favor. Oh, vino. Uh, vino blanco is white wine. Vino blanco is white wine, so mm -hmm. I say. Uh, we'll so to time. keep it sim simple, you yes. can say una copa de vino blanco, por favor, which is please. Yeah. Okay. Una copa is okay. a glass. Una copa. Okay, there we go. Vino una blanco. copa is the glass, and then vino blanco, uh -huh. por favor. Oh, sí. Una so, copa de vino blanco. Una copa de de vino blanco, por favor, por favor. Mm -hmm. So a, a glass of white wine, please. please. Yeah. Instead of saying. Can I have a glass yeah, of wine? Yeah, that is simple. Yes. Add por favor at the end. Yeah. You're fine. All right. Yes. Okay. Good. Let's. Go. I'm just gonna try and repeat it one more time. Una copa de vino blanco, por favor. Just went over mm -hmm. the right. how to order white wine. Mm -hmm. Well, what Carmen was just telling us earlier today was how important it is to order red wine. Yeah. In the proper Spanish. Yes. Um, well, because yeah. uh, Wait, red yeah. means rojo. See, rojo. Uh, oh. But actually, you say tinto. So vino tinto is red wine. Vino no, tinto. rojo. Okay. okay. So yeah. So it's una copa de vino tinto. Okay. And yeah. so the blanco is the white wine, and then if we're going to order red wine from yes. you know restaurant, you say tinto, tinto, or you can say Rioja if it's a Rioja. So yeah? una copa de Rioja or red wine, una copa de vino tinto. And then if, if you knew specifically that you wanted the um, Priorat, pre you just said the, the type of wine that you want. Yeah, you said the type of wine, but if you just want, if you're just being, you know, loose red about wine. the whole thing, where you want red wine, whichever they've got, you say vino tinto. Si. All right. All right. Okay. That's a good thing to know, you know? Yeah, I think it's important. I think it's important because the Blanco is a white wine and then the red wine is a, not Rojo, it's tinto. Tinto. Okay. So let's go over our uh, cheers, because that's I think that's almost the most important mm -hmm. part of it, right? Mm -hmm. You know. So. Salud. Salud. In Spanish, okay. Salud. Cheers. Salud. 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 What? What is everybody says salud or do they 
can always do something else. Or everybody says salud, and if you're in a party and you're getting happy, you can say arriba, 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 oh, arriba. Up, arriba, arriba, abajo, abajo, al centro, al centro, centro y dentro, y dentro. dentro. Yeah. Love, We're at a party, so, love, which means up, down, center, and in. Arriba, abajo, abajo, al centro, al centro, y adentro. Y adentro. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you, everybody. This was so great, Carmen. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you so much. <laughs> I have fun. All right. <laughs> Let's keep drinking. Yes. All right. And party.